Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.7. Yep, that's right, Homebrew can still run on firmware 11.7, even though it was just released a couple of days ago. It's safe to say that this system update didn't change very much. If you want to stay up to date on the latest Homebrew news, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server, and visit the Brew News page on my website. I'll have all the links down below. Before we get started, let's cover some common questions. Number 1. Will this work on my 3DS? Yes. This works on all 3DS and 2DS consoles, just make sure you're running firmware 11.7. Number 2. How do I know which firmware version my 3DS is running? That one's easy, just open up system settings and your version will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Number 3. Does my firmware have to look the same as yours? No, just make sure it starts with 11.7. Number 4. Can this permanently damage or brick my system? The answer is no. Custom firmware can do this, but Homebrew cannot. And for our fifth and final question, can Homebrew get me banned from Nintendo's online services? The answer is yes, but only if you cheat online. Now that all of that's out the way, let's go over what you'll need. All you're going to need is an SD card and the 3DS game Cubic Ninja. If you don't have this game, don't worry. A free version is coming very very soon, so make sure to subscribe. In the meantime, you can join my Discord server. Head over to jacksorrell.tv slash discord or click the link which is down below. But now, let's get started. And remember to leave a like on this video if you're excited for the free version which is coming soon. First of all, head over to your PC and visit my website which is linked below. In the tutorials drop down menu, click 3DS. Then under this video, click Homebrew Website. Scroll down, then click Download the Homebrew Starter Kit, then save it to your desktop. Back over on my website, click Setup Ninja Hacks. Scroll down, then enter your 3DS's model and firmware version. Just in case you didn't know, the 2DS counts as old and the new 2DS XL counts as new. By the way, the letter at the end of your 3DS's firmware version is just the region where your 3DS is from. E for Europe, U for US, J for Japan and K for Korea. Once you've entered your 3DS's information, click Update QR Code. We're going to be using these QR codes later, so minimize the page for now. Now go ahead and extract the Homebrew Starter Kit to your desktop. Then copy the 3DS folder and the boot file to the root of the 3DS SD card. Once you've done that, eject the SD card, then delete the remaining homebrew files from your computer. We won't need these anymore. If you're doing this wirelessly, just close the connection. Over on the 3DS, open up Cubic Ninja. If your version of Cubic Ninja was pre-owned, 
or you've used it to launch Homebrew on a previous firmware version, make sure you clear your Cubic Ninja save file. To do this, just hold L, R, X and Y until you see this message on your screen. Then tap Yes to clear your Cubic Ninja save data. This won't delete any games or any other game save data, only Cubic Ninjas. Once you've done that, tap Create, then tap QR Code. This is where the QR codes on the browser comes in. Just scan it with your 3DS and Cubic Ninja. Then press the next button on the browser to switch to the next QR code. There should be around 16 of them. You'll know when it's been successfully scanned when the black bar on the top of the bottom screen disappears. Once you know it's been scanned correctly, press the B button and then the A button to go back into the QR code scanner. Then press the next button on your browser and scan the next QR code. This can take a while. That's why I saved every QR code to my iPad, then set my 3DS on a table and scanned each QR code in a slideshow. This way is much, much faster and certainly stops your arms from getting tired. I won't speed this part of the video up in case you want to know how long this slideshow method takes. Ok, so once you've scanned all of the QR codes, go back, then go into the QR code scanner again, but this time, the homebrew launcher should open. And that's it, you've just homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.7. To exit the homebrew launcher, just press the start button and then the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. If you see this error, don't worry, 
This happens most of the time, just press A here. If you want to open the Homebrew Launcher again, just open Cubic Ninja and go back into the QR code scanner. Don't worry, you won't have to scan each QR code again, they're all saved in your Cubic Ninja save data. If you don't have Cubic Ninja, you won't be able to do this. Stick around on the channel because the free version is coming very soon. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.